I gave an introduction about graphs in a previous video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to find the distances between two nodes in a graph. This is one of the main uses of graphs and is called graph traversal. Traversal algorithms are algorithms used to traverse or visit nodes in a graph. The main types of traversal algorithms are breadth-first search and depth-first search. In this video, I will be showing how to implement breadth-first search in JavaScript. As you can see, the algorithm starts at one node, first visits all its neighbors that are one edge away, then goes on to visiting each of their neighbors. The point is to determine how close nodes are to a root node. There are different ways to implement breadth-first search. In this version, you pass in an adjacency matrix graph and the index of the root node. Remember, in an adjacency matrix, each nested array in the matrix shows which nodes in the graph are connected to the node at that index. For example, this array is at index 0, so it shows which nodes that node 0 is connected to. If it is connected to a node, there is a 1 at that index, but if it is not connected, there is a 0 at that index. Before I go through the code, let's see it in action. So here is a graphical representation of this adjacency graph. Check out my previous graph video to see how this adjacency graph goes into this graph. So we ran the breadth first search function, we passed in this graph up here, and then we passed in the number 1. So that means we're trying to find out how far away every node is from the first node. So you can see this graphical representation of the exact same graph. And if you see the first node right here, that's the node we passed in to the, the breadth first search function. We're going to see how far away each node is. So you can see right here, it shows how far away it is. So node 0 is two nodes away. See, because of the direction of the graph, we can't just go straight across a 0. First, from 1, we go to 2. Then we go to 0. So that's two nodes away. 1, the, the node itself is always 0 nodes away. And then the second node is one node away, just one. Third node is three nodes away. See, first you have to start at one, then you go to two, then zero, then three. So that's three hops. And four is infinity. Because when you're on, from the first node, it's impossible to get to the fourth node because the fourth node only points back to the first node. This function will output an object of key value pairs where a key is the node and the value is its distance from the root. This object will be used to store the distances to the root node. We will start all the distances at infinity, which in this version of breadth first search indicates that a node is not reachable from the start node. Here, the distance to the root node from the root node is set to zero instead of infinity. We are going to create a simple queue to keep track of nodes to visit. And the purpose of this variable is to keep track of the current node that we are traversing. Now we will start a while loop to keep traversing nodes until there are no more nodes in the queue to traverse. We'll start the loop by popping off a node from the queue to traverse, which at the beginning is the root node. Here, we get all the nodes connected to the current node. Remember, each index of the graph is an array that shows what nodes are connected to the root node associated with that index. So, in this example, we are first looking at node 1. At node 1, the array shows that it is connected to nodes 0 and 2. Now, we set the neighbor index variable to an empty array. This will keep track of a list of nodes that are connected to the current node. This line gets the first node connected to the current node. When it says index of 1, this finds the first connected node because the number 1 in our array means that the node is connected to another node at that index. If there is no node with an index of 1, the index variable will be set to negative 1. So, while index does not equal negative 1, push the index onto our list of neighbors. 
This line searches for the next connected node. We look for the next one in the array starting after the previous one we found. That's what this plus one means. Now that we know all the nodes connected to the current node, we loop through these connected nodes and get the distance. If the value in the nodes len array at the index of the neighbor from the neighbor index array equals infinity, that means we haven't set the distance of that node yet. So we will set it now. We are going to set it to the value of the, the node's length array for the current node plus one. Then we'll push that neighbor to the queue. So the next time we go through the while loop, we'll check the neighbors of that node too. This for loop is the most complicated part of this, and you may have to read through it a couple times to completely understand it. At the end, we return the node's length array. And that's breadth first search of a graph. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.